Hi folks, uh, this is uh, 924 Washington Street, Dorchester. This is an eight room, four bedroom, one and a half bath colonial. Uh, just listed today, today is October 12th, 2010. Uh, this is uh, a property that, that's in super shape. Uh, we're just walking down the driveway here. We're gonna take a look at the backyard. Before we head inside, um, this owner has kept this house uh, in tip-top shape. She's owned it for many, many, many years. Uh, and again, she's, she's kept it in wonderful shape. The roof is newer. The windows are newer. She's got a newer uh, back deck here. Um, here's uh, the garage back there. Um, so this is a shaded, a shaded backyard. There are two large trees back here. So let's walk around to the other side of the house here. Give you a full tour of the grounds. And then we're gonna head inside. So, she's done a really nice job of landscaping. It's got, it really does have a ton of curb appeal. Uh, this is really one of the best houses I've been in in Dorchester. She just replaced the front door as well. Um, but again, this is one of the nicest houses that I've seen in Dorchester in, in quite a while. Uh, this is your front um, your foyer here. And uh, all of the woodwork in this house is in really great shape. Um, and here is your living room. It does have a fireplace. She doesn't use it too often, but uh, doesn't mean that uh, you can't use it in the future. So you got a fireplace. She has carpeting on the floors here. She prefers carpeting. There are hard hardwood floors underneath the carpeting here. Okay. I know it's a little bit dark here, but uh, let me just tell you that it is in is in very nice shape. So, so the, again, this is the living room here, and then we're going to walk into the dining room. And the dining room is a good size. She's got uh, six six chairs here, and I'm sure you can expand it to eight chairs. I'm sure there's no problem at all. Um, and then they do also have a built-in hutch in this uh, in this uh, dining room. This is sort of like an old-fashioned uh, colonial that you would see with a lot of the sort of the stuff that you would see in a colonial of this age. Uh, she just put this on recently. Three season porch. It's screened in. Really nice job. And it's a, it's a really nice size as well. We just saw this uh, from the backyard. Okay. Um, Alright, cool. So let's go take a look here. We're going to head into the pantry. Uh, there's a half bath off the pantry. So tons of closet space here. Um, you know, if you got a larger family, you're going to have plenty of room for the, the food here. And then here's her half bath off of the, um, half bath off of the, uh, um, the pantry here. Okay. She does have newer windows. The, again, the roof is just about brand new as well. And the kitchen is newer as well. So there's really nothing that you have to do in this house. Uh, we'll go downstairs. We're going to head down to the uh, basement after this to take a look at the basement. The electrical is in really good shape. That's 100 amp service. So that's been taken care of. And the heating system is new as well. So, uh, so let's take a look down here. I might hit myself. This is only my second time in the property. So, all right. So here's the heating system. It's a Burnham system. It's an oil system. Uh, really good shape. Excellent shape. Okay. And here's your oil tank over here in this corner. All right. She also has replacement windows in the uh, in the basement as well. Some uh, hoppers. Okay. Here's the garage door. Uh, you know she's lived here for quite quite a few years, so you can imagine there's a lot of stuff here. And uh, you know that's. Uh, that's what happens. So here's your electrical system, circuit breakers, 100 amp service. Again, really nice shape. 
And here is your water meter uh, down here. And this is uh, towards the front of the house. Okay. So we're going to head upstairs now. Uh, oh, here's your washer and dryer hookup. We'll just take a little bit more of a tour down here. Washer and dryer hookup. And this is to the rear of the building. Okay. Um, all right, cool. So we're going to head upstairs. This is a side entrance here as well, off of the uh, side en side entrance off of the uh, off of the um, basement there. So we're gonna head right through upstairs here, and we're gonna take a look at the bedrooms. And again, she prefers carpeting in the hallways here. She does have the hardwood floors exposed in the bedrooms. So this is the bedroom to the front left of the house, okay? And this bedroom has access to the attic. It's a walk-up attic. There's some space for storage up there. Um, if you wanted to expand up there, you'd probably have to put some dormers, but you, you know, it, it's possible. For an older house, this has got some good-sized closets. Okay. And again, she's lived here for many, many years, so you're gonna accumulate stuff. Uh, we're not going to head up into the attic. Uh, there's just not enough, not enough lighting. So we're going to head across the hall here. This is the rear left of the house as you're looking at it from the street. Um, good size bedroom. I think this is probably a full size bed. Um, okay, but it's in very nice shape. All right, we're going to look at the third bedroom here on this floor and we're now in the front right hand side of the property uh, this is a pretty big bedroom here this is probably this isn't the master bedroom but you might actually be able to use this as a master okay so and then we're going to head to the what she's using as the master, and uh, you know, actually, one of the e either one of these bedrooms could could really be used as the master. They're both they're both good sized bedrooms. She might pre prefer it back here. It might be just a little bit quieter. Um, closet there, and I think she's probably ha she probably has a full size bed here. I would say. Okay, so we're gonna last thing we're gonna look at here is the bathroom on this floor, and I forgot to turn on the light. I hate when I do that. So here's the bathroom. Okay. It's in good shape. Um, everything's in good, everything in this house is in good shape. Okay. You might want to tailor it. You know, maybe you want to do your own. Uh, maybe take up. I, I personally would like to take up the carpets. I'd re, I'd refinish the floors myself. That's my my preference. Maybe paint some walls. But uh, really, really, really nice shape. So we're gonna head back outside. And we're going to finish up this tour. Um, and this is 924 Washington Street in Dorchester. And this is just listed today. Uh, today is October 12th, uh, 2000 and, uh, 2010. And there's that third floor. There's a dormer on the third floor there. That, you know, Again, we didn't go up into the attic. But uh, you get a good sense of that. But anyway, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, watch this video. If you have any questions, uh, call your broker, call us, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.